It's Friday, April 4th, 2008, and this is the News on Cracked. I'm Lex Friedman, and I think we're alone now, except for this man, my new co-anchor, Orrin J. Katzeff. And sorry, ladies, he's taken. Let's get to the news. Children playing on a Scottish beach discovered a woman's severed head in a plastic bag earlier this week. Hey, come on, nothing wrong with a little head. On the beach. With children. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy, it's Friday. You know what that means. It's the week in douchebaggery. Indeed it is, my friend. Douchebag number five, Michael Stipe. The R.E.M. singer announced earlier this week that he is, in fact, gay. Come on, anyone surprised here? Mikey, the only thing more open than the secret of your gayness is your anus whenever there's a dick in the room. <laughs> yeah, you like that? He liked that. He did. Douchebag number four. A California elementary school teacher. She was arrested this week after a student discovered a gun in one of her drawers. You know, that's not as bad as what some students put in their teacher's drawers. They're semen. <laughs> Comparatively, the gun's just not so bad. Oh, this just in. As it turns out, gun is the name of this young Indian student. <laughs> Douchebag number three, Harry Davidson. Douchebag number two, Lonely Girl 15, or more specifically, Jessica Rose, the actress who portrayed her. She's now starring in a new web-based video series. Hey, Lonely Girl, listen up. Web-based shows do not work. Trust me. Awkward. And finally, douchebag number one, Kirk Filch. Seriously, what the hell were we thinking? Here are some tough questions. How did Kirk Filch ever get hired? Has anyone ever laughed at anything he said? Does his own mother regret possessing the vagina that allowed him passage into God's green earth? I'm Lex Friedman, and here's one answer. Kirk Filch is a douchebag. That's it for today's edition of the News on Crack. Check back next week to find out if I've been fired yet. For Orrin J. Katzeff, I'm Lex Friedman.